Are you guys ready? We ready? Ready. Don't ever be, Michael. You're now tapped into what kind of party? Episode 18, back virtual, virtual bound again. It's yo. Last time we were virtual is eight, so it's like ten. Lynch. Last is eight and eighteen. We were virtual. Last right, whatever. Time. We're here. <laughs> we got Alicia Grimes in the computer, <laughs> not the building. Yes, the Alicia. <laughs> How are we feeling? The computer. How's everybody doing? I'm good. We're in the, we're in the virtual <laughs> building. <laughs> the virtual world. Everybody feeling yeah, good? How you I'm feeling? I'm good. Love it. Yeah. I love it. So we start every episode. We say our, our mental from one to 10. We just like to check in. So anything that's going on, like just in life. So if you would like to start it up, go for it. Yeah. One to 10. How am I feeling? Um... I'm feeling like a six, Ooh. pretty average, but um, I got a shitload of work to do and I just let it build up and build up and build up. And now I'm like, it's almost Monday and I worked a lot over the weekends, but I just should have done better. You know, not bad, not great. <laughs> do you, you let work get the best of you a lot? Uh, no, I have a bad procrastination issue. Like I always get it done. I never have an issue getting things done on time. Yeah, yeah. I just wait and wait and wait. And I find that when I get to like that last crunch time, this is when I produce the best work. Word. I've always heard that. We're <laughs> back against the wall type shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Literally. Well, I mean, six, six is actually the lowest we've got from day one. Well, listen, at least I'm on this, right? No, I love it. No, I, I love the <laughs> honesty. It's great. Do you, do you, how often do you like, do you stay at a six average? Is that like, do you go up? Where, you... No, I'm usually around like an eight or a nine. Like I'm a generally pretty happy or positive person, but yeah. uh, my energy is real low because I went a little too hard this weekend. So <laughs> <laughs> I, think that that's fun, kind of, I did, I was, I was living my best, but not very conducive for, um, when you are working for yourself and you are the only one who can motivate you. And right. now I'm sitting here like, well, maybe I shouldn't have done what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Well, by next Sunday, you're going to be like an eight. You're going to be back to a nine. Yeah. Simone, what you feeling like? What Tomorrow you... I'll be fine. Honestly, um, in the same kind of capacity, like I'm just feeling like a lot of not motivated, not, you know, trying to get there because I had quit my job. I don't know if you watched the pod, but I quit my job mm -hmm. to sing, right? Not right, but to sing and like the motivation and the like where to start and like all of those kinds of things pile on top and come in flushes where I'm like, fuck, what am I going to do? You know what I mean? Yep. But I'm no. like, fuck, what am I going to do? <laughs> so I'm going to give myself like a seven and a half, eight. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. A six, you know what I just realized? A six sounds really like I guess <laughs> to y'all it probably sounds bad. To me, a six is like, oh, that's average. That's like right in the middle. But now that I'm I hearing you guys describe it, I guess it sounds like not. <laughs> well, I mean, it was the low. It sounds like it's I'm not, too bad. I, so I'm I fine. Feel like, no, I feel like bad <laughs> is like a like a four, five. Like that. I feel yeah. like that's like, I mean, not even a five, but I just feel like maybe like a you know four. But like six, yeah, 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 I see it. I mean, you explained yourself too. It makes sense. But I'm over it here. It is I, what it is. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I literally, I have been coasting at a nine. The last two weeks, I've been like at like an eight, nine. I've That's been stressed out. Good. I know, but I, I've been, I'm coasting here. I'm really, I'm coasting. I mean, there's things I want to get done and shit I want to do, but I'm still, I'm just coasting. I'm like at like a nine, two, nine, one. I would say. That's pretty good. Living my I best life too. over here. <laughs> Living my best life. Living my best yeah. life. Word. All right, so let's get into your brand. I want to talk about this. So I, my first initial question would be, how did this come about? Like, what is this? Is this something you had a dream about your whole life, owning a brand? Or to tell us about your brand first. I want to hear about your brand. All right, so it's called The Grimes Creative. My full name, Alicia Grimes. So um, I basically offer copywriting, um, content writing, sometimes creative writing services to companies, brands, startups. Um, and the writing ranges anywhere from like um, blog posts or articles. Um, so like a company will come to me uh, and say like, we want to write a blog post about skincare. It has to touch this on this and this. And it needs to be this amount of words. And I write it. Um, I do a lot of that. I also do a lot of writing for websites. So I've done 
two or three websites from like start to finish. So like they basically had nothing, they had an idea and I just write the entire website, like every single page. Or I just do like a landing page. Um, then I also do newsletters, um, campaigns. So any of the packaging, if someone is sending out a product, um, I'll write the packaging, the, the, the words that are gonna be in the box, I'll write that. Um, it's literally, I can write anything as you're paying me to write it, I'll write it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I started that in December of 2020. Uh, I actually went to college and got my degree in English literature. I'm a minor in business. Um, I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. I knew I liked writing. I didn't, I don't think I thought I was going to be a writer. My goal was to go to law school. Um, took the LSAT and fucking hated it. I, I was miserable. And I also <laughs> talked to friends who were like in law school already. And they, it just seems, didn't seem like something that was for me. It sounded like, like if, when you say, oh, I'm going to be a lawyer. It sounds so prestigious and so cool and blah, blah, blah. And then you sit down and you're like, damn, I got to do the work to be a lawyer. And like, I feel like half the time people don't want to put the work in. So I was like, I don't want to put the work in. I should put the work into something that I actually want to do. Uh, so because of the COVID, I was working, I left my job. I was working at Mount Sinai Hospital part-time. I was a like a project manager, admin assistant, basically. Um, it was not a career. It was kind of just something that landed in my lap and paid the bills. And then my boyfriend was actually the one that was like, you don't really belong there. So like, I know COVID sucks because I had, they had cut my hours drastically, but he was like, you are not even doing what you want to do. Like you are so gifted at writing and blah, blah, blah. Um, so he got me into some writing stuff with his business, like for his company. And then I was like, I'm just going to start my own. I started my own and I kind of, he connected me with a few contacts. They connected me with a few contacts and it just kind of like spiraled through there. Now I get most of my clients through um, Upwork or like word of mouth, like people in the industry that I've worked with will be like, oh, I, I have a writer for you. So yeah, that's the background. That's super dope. I love when there's like a story and there's a person in the background that like pushes you to like, just that one person to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, mm -hmm. you know, do it. That's so dope. He was, basically, he was that person for me. I love that. I really love that. It's funny because I was actually just mm -hmm. talking to Matt Hernandez yesterday. He basically said the same thing to me too. And it just I love those stories. It's just like, bro, that it only takes that one person to be like, yeah, to like solidify, like I can do this. I'm doing yeah. this. Yeah. He was the one that gave me like my first, my first real push. Cause like I said, he has his own business and he needed, they wanted some like blog posts done. He had like a, a fashion tech company basically. And they wanted someone to come in and like, uh, revamp their website and write some blog posts and i'm also the only native english speaker on like the entire team or was um so i kind of came in and like revamped everything and like you know gave it some some life i guess um on the writing side at least not in everywhere else just in the writing side um and then from there that kind of gave me the confidence to be like oh you know what i'm actually like pretty fucking good at this maybe i should continue it uh so yeah I give him all the credit and like pushing me in that direction because I before that. that I was like, I like writing. Can I do it as a career? Probably not. But now it's my career. So literally your career. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so far. Mm -hmm. Do you, is there like when you started, do you, would you like, was your goal saying like, I want to potentially have my own brand or was it more just like, I want to do this for someone else kind of thing. You know what I mean? When I first start, so when I first left my job, it was like July, I want to say, um, left, that's not true. When I, when my hours first got cut, it was more like April, May, um, in the midst of COVID 20, 2020. Yeah. Um, and then I started with my boyfriend's company in around, yeah, uh, like yeah. around June, July. And for a while it was kind of just like seeing, kind of doing it for other people, like for hire, working at the time, like I want to do this full time. It was kind of just like, oh, I enjoy this. I went to school for this. Let's see how far it goes. And then as I started, like, you know, getting getting my footing, I kind of more and more was like, this is definitely something that I, I want to do, do on my own. Yeah, and I also yeah. love making my own. Yeah, I love making my own schedule, and I love working for myself. And I mean this wholeheartedly. Unless I have to, I will never go back 
to working for someone else. I love it. I love it. Because I am so spoiled. <laughs> I love that. I'm so spoiled gonna, now. I, I was, can't, yeah, I, I was going to go ask, what, what's your pros and cons yeah. to having your own business? Like for the people that are maybe thinking about having their own, like what's the pros and cons? But in like your, your uh, work. First of all, everyone always says, if you ever go on Twitter, everyone's like, be an entrepreneur, do your own shit, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And that it's so much easier said than done. Because no one tells you when you start up a business that this shit is fucking hard it's really hard to motivate yourself every single day there's no boss looking over your shoulder telling you what deliverables that you need to get done at this very exact time there's no like there's no one there telling you what to do there's no hand holding you are your own boss you're your own accountant your own marketer you're your own social media manager you're the writer you're the blah 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 you're everything and no one tells you how difficult that is. Um, I mean, in general, but especially in the beginning, especially if you were coming from the traditional workforce, like me, I was coming from the nine to five, 10 to six, whatever it was, was under having administrative, like having to wake up every day and find the motivation to do what I need to do still can be difficult sometimes but in the beginning it was really really hard um so i don't know if that's a con it's just something to be conscious of that like it's not it's not easy 24 7. um but for me i guess that's the i guess the other con would be it's not as stable as like a typical nine to five um i mean you're putting in you're, you're gonna get as much work as you put in and even when you put in tons of work sometimes things just don't flow the way you want them to as opposed to where you go into the office or you have a nine to five with a big company or whatever you know for a fact like I'm going to do this every single day no matter what I'm getting paid this much on this date you know you don't have that kind of stuff for yourself so those, those are the two cons if you want to call them that the pros I could go on forever I mean I love working for myself because I can I literally work from wherever I want. Like if I want to work from home, I work from home. If I want to go on vacation and work from the pool in Mexico, then I can do that. If I want to take a week off because I need a week off, I can do that. I don't need to ask anyone. Um, I can wake up whenever the fuck I want, which is huge for me because I'm not a morning person. My brain doesn't start doesn't functioning until about noon, maybe one, maybe one p.m. Like literally, I'll wake sometimes. up early, like eight or nine. But I don't do shit until one. So, I mean, there's a, there's a ton. But I love it. I like I said, I'm not going back <laughs> unless I am. But yeah. Word. I love that. That's so fire. Can you hear me? Yeah. It's like cutting it out, but okay. I can't hear you. That's fire. Because you do see mm -hmm. a lot too. It's like you know, like you said on Twitter, start that, do this, do this. But and then Everyone it pushes someone mother. to do it. Yeah, it pushes someone to do it and then they're going to do it and then they're going to fail because they don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Which is like, it's they're great like, to this. start something, but you have to like understand yeah. what you're saying. Everyone, everyone's telling you, start your own business, start your own, build your own empire, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That's great. And that is very, you know, that's a great thing to tell people, but you should also be upfront about how hard it is to do that yeah. and the things that you need to do to get yourself to your empire because you're not just going to go from day one, oh, I have an empire now, I'm the bad bitch. Like that is... <laughs> simply not how it works it's just not so yeah it's hard Word. I'm so dope. where do you want to take it how far you know what's the end goal you just hope for consistent work and continue doing your flexible schedule and those kinds of things or I mean the goal is to be like I don't want it to just be sustainable I want it to be like I'm someone that big companies come to so that I'm like the bitch to go to if you need to get something done. Um, and also as my clientele grows, I do want to hire more. Right now it's just me. Um, so as I get more clients, I do want to hire more people so that it's like, you know, a team of us. And it, like, as the business grows, the team can grow. Um, so yeah, I don't want it to say, I always want it to be a small group of people, but I don't want it to be as small as it is now. Like I want to be like, find my niche, um, I think my niche right now is very much like 
a little more luxury because I wrote for like um, a luxury food startup and then I've written for some like luxury furniture and then some skincare and blah 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 so I think it's going to be more on like the high end side um so yeah I would want those companies to come to me and be like we heard that you're the person to go to for this and yeah that's my goal awesome I mean, it's cool you know like you never really know when you start your own business like all right like I'm doing this um because I love it right and it see it goes well you know but it's like all right where can it go because it can go in many different directions and it like can, I just yeah. admire anybody who's an entrepreneur that goes out that says like all right this isn't what I want to do but I'm going to figure it out you know what I mean so I mean mm -hmm. I know my, I'm sorry my lackluster response to what you said <laughs> like I kind I just kind of like <laughs> I just no, I got it, it. You know? and it's just it is admirable in you fucking I'm like just taking information from you you know just to like, <laughs> but yeah yeah I mean I get it I want to follow and see you know where it goes yeah me too I mean there's a, a couple other things I want to do like I don't want to just have this I eventually want to branch out and I have some ideas that I want that are not completely aligned with like copywriting or what are they what are they tell us tell us tell us go on all right, I guess since I, I guess I'm putting it out there. Yes, you are. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. I wasn't fully planning on it, but um, so I like I said, I worked with like um, kind of in the food industry. It's like online, but uh, I kind of I was writing about food all the time, food, drinks, luxury experiences, blah blah blah, all that stuff, and I found that I really enjoyed it, like the kind of food. I guess you could call it hospitality industry. So I have this idea for a concept that I want to open. Um, I really like, I guess I didn't even mention this. I really like spooky stuff and like horror related things and anything a little dark, creepy, gothic, mysterious, spooky. Um, I love gothic literature. Um, but I have this idea that I want to open this like it's a I, I don't know how to explain it it's a in the daytime it would be like a cafe for like tea or coffee and in the nighttime it would be a cocktail bar but this I want it to be like a little gothic -y, spooky ish but like a, in a classy way I don't really want it to be Halloween -y, which is so left from what I'm doing right now but it kind of combines my two worlds of like I love spooky stuff mm -hmm. I love a good cocktail and I could be the one to do the marketing for it like all of the right. writing, social media, whatever, whatever, in the beginning. So that's totally left from what I have, what I, but what I do now. Because we're in the space and you can see how these things can like come to their potential. And then you add like, all right, yeah. you're on to the, the, the spooky gothic stuff and like, I can do whatever, yeah. you know? So I understand, you know? And, mm, yeah, cool. so that's like my, that's my goal for the next year is to like figure out how the fuck am I gonna, how am I gonna do this? So I have like multiple things that I want to do in my head and I just need to like sit down and fucking figure them out, yeah. you know? <laughs> One step yeah. at a time. Brick yeah, by, right. brick. That brick, is the by brick. brick. That is brick by brick. <laughs> yeah, I'm also so impatient. So I'm like, I want everything now, 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 now. I 100% I'm the same way. I feel that video. <laughs> I'm the oh same way. I'm dead ass so impatient. It's crazy. Like <laughs> I think of something, I'm like, I need it tomorrow. Right, but you can, like, visualize it. Yo, it's so clear. Yeah, steps to I get know. there. It's like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know? Whenever I tell people that I want to do that, they're like, "That is not what I expected you to say." I was like, "If you know me at all, and you know how much I love like dark things, like kind of spooky things, it's not really that far left because I'm already in the space a little bit with the stuff I was writing about." Mm -hmm. So I was like, "What is a I my." My biggest thing is like, how can I combine the things that I love, which is like kind of dark, spooky things with um, something that's lucrative. So that's what I came up with and I love it. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna do it. So I think right now, like this business, I wanna keep it forever, but it's definitely a way for me. It's like a stepping stone for me to yeah. get to that next that next thing that I that's want to so do dope. and then maybe that after so I do dope. that I'll do something else I don't know that's so dope yeah that's just fine. take what life throws at you that's so fine yeah. mm -hmm. I love it I love it manifesting that manifesting that yeah. are you guys want to get into which rathers let's lighten this up let's get into some let's, do it. let's get it
right. by chance. Do you think you I would pull this up? We haven't done Would You Rather's in a couple weeks, but here we are. Did you hear me? No, what would you say? Did Alicia go away? Oh, there no, what you said? Here she is. <laughs> I said, by any chance, are you an Aquarius? I'm here. What? Am I a what? <laughs> an Aquarius. Aquarius. She said no, an Aries. Aries. <laughs> I'm an Aries. I heard you say, are you, I heard, are you in Greece? I was like, do I look? <laughs> do I look? <laughs> that, that wall looks real Greek. I just had to ask. <laughs> no, I'm an Aries. Fire sign, baby. Gang, gang, gang. We're both Sages. Gang, gang, gang. Sag gangs. I don't know anything about Sages. I know. I'm going to start incorporating. I have to talk more about it in the pod so Mike can get with it. But yeah, <laughs> I got I to get with it. All right, y'all ready? All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get it. Would you rather know everything and be miserable or know nothing and be happy? Know nothing and be happy. I 100% agree. Ignorance is bliss. It's a, it's I, a phrase for a reason. I think I, I, I agree. I definitely agree. Because I, I just feel like if you know everything, what do you think? You, you, what are you picking, Simone? I don't know. I don't think I'd want to just be blissfully ignorant. I think so too, but then you're just miserable your whole life. I don't need to know everything either, but I don't want to know nothing. Yeah, I guess, but you gotta choose. You know nothing, and you're hella happy though. Okay, hella happy. Got me because all I want in life is happiness. That's what I'm saying. Like you don't. I would rather just. I don't even. I'd be like. I guess fine. Yeah, blissful ignorance, because then I could go off like I wasn't like high school. You know what? I, IQ, if my IQ is on 10, but I'm happy, that's fine with me. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. And that's like everyone okay. around me will know I'm just a glimpse of happiness. I don't know shit. I'm just happy. Yeah. I'm sorry. Stupid I don't follow what you guys are saying. But he's happy. I'm happy. That's for sure. <laughs> I don't want to be you know the know what? Fine. Guy. Yeah, that put sucks. that on my tombstone. Because then I'd be yeah. miserable myself too. That's stupid. I would hate that. I'd be like, well, you yeah. know, that's not true. I mean, yep. You see, we're on the same page. Yeah, facts. Well, I don't think you have to be an asshole about you know everything. Yeah, and you're miserable because you're miserable. No one wants to be around you. You don't want to be around you. you that that sucks. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you guys are right. You got it. I'll take being yeah. happy and ignorant. Ignorant. And, uh, or... <laughs> Period. All right, that was a good one. All right, let's get it. I'm happy we're on the same page. Uh, you good, Simone? <laughs> lights. You good? Is there it's a dog? Lights. I need lights. Yeah, that's I do have a dog in the back yeah, in the other room. Oh, cute. <laughs> I, actually have, I actually have a dog in this room sleeping at the moment. Who is what it? What kind? And, uh, a pit lab. What a, come here, Riley. Oh. Come here. Wait, wait what? <laughs> right here. Mm-hmm. Hello, dog. I'm just looking. <gasps> Hi. Riley, come here. Is it a boy or a girl? She's a girl. Oh, my God. She's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I know. I love this I love little her. dog. I love her. And then there's another one in there. So a giant schnauzer, mad big. Cute. I'm cur- I'm currently at Alyssa's parents' house. I'm in her old room, as you can see in the background. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got it. Um, all right. Next one. Would you rather have bad body odor or bad breath? I think Michael know my answer on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're like low key just talking about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. That. Yeah, that's a little that's tough one, one, I think, though. That's a tough body one. Body odor? Like, body odor because your I mean, entire body? Yeah, like, yeah, you don't even have to be talking and someone just around you. Just yeah, like, like nah, yo, you, you know stank. people who've had, like, horrible, like, halitosis dad breath? Like, you don't want to be around those <laughs> But, like, you can maybe put on a sweater and cover up your body odor a little bit, you know? like. But if, it's, if the odor is that bad and it's coming from everywhere, like... Facts. You ever just stood next to someone... Yeah, they don't nah, even facts. you know they don't even have to open their mouth. Facts. At Think least. about like if you're sitting on like a train, a plane, a car ride with someone, like they don't even they're just gonna the be doing time. nothing and they just stand. They don't even have to talk. I don't know. I've I've been in I the think that, front seat of cars where I can smell niggas' breath who aren't even <laughs> talking. So I like <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, nah, breath be kicking, but like you know, it's twenty twenty two, we got masks and shit. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna do bad breath because if yeah, you have, do you breath just as well. smell 24/7. At least if you have bad breath, you can just shut up. 
Yeah, facts. Yeah, shut up. You know, or I can just be like it this. It comes out of your like nose. This. I'm no. Mm-hmm. It comes in no. You have to breathe. You have to breathe. <laughs> I can wear clothes and my clothes can be clean. Like, so I'm going to go with the fact that my clothes are clean, a pit stink. That's it. <laughs> So you're picking bad okay. body odor? Yep, body odor. I don't have Damn, deodorant on now, stank. so I'm giving my truth. <laughs> I, uh, I'm <laughs> going bad breath. Yeah, I'm definitely going bad breath. I feel yeah. like I can limit that more. Ew. Yeah. Bro, Ew. imagine just I'm sitting in a spot. with bad somewhere. breath? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that shit is gross. Yeah. That shit is gross. Yeah. But bad body odor, dog, that shit is different. Oh, no, there's a- it's, That shit is vile. It's That's not just saying. different. It's That's putrid. I'm saying. Big no. I ain't been around this We're on the same one. page. See you later. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get one more. We're going through these quick. Going through these quick. Uh, all right. Would you rather move to a different city every week or never be able to move from your hometown? Oh, fucking every week. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> wait, wait, every hold on. Week? Move to a new city every week. Every week. Or never... Move, live like move from your hometown so you have to live in your hometown forever every week i'm moving yeah <laughs> i am not no absolutely not absolutely not there's I no way that. in hell i feel no. that i see no. the only thing that i can see to like say that's not good is of like a family if i had a family and i had to up and move every week that would suck like if I'm a solo person, I don't if I'm just one person. <laughs> kids, we off again. <laughs> no. Y'all know mom's so antics, so cousin. Yeah, no, but I let me that. just let me just clarify. You would want me to stay in Greenwood Lake, New York, for a life. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. hearing that out yeah. loud sounds it sounds crazy. No, it, it does. Crazy. I know. That's how I feel. I get it. But like I said, like I just. Like being a father, I would hate to be like, yo, kids, we're going to another school district. Like, I'm sorry, but you're going to another school district again. I guess. I don't want kids, so I don't. Yeah, I see. That makes sense. That answer makes sense. <laughs> but like, for me, I want three. So, like, I. Home that school, sucks. Though. What kind of party is this? Homeschool on the road, baby. True. <laughs> no, literally. I mean, yeah, you better get would... your ass a trailer. <laughs> put them in there. I would there. have to. Moving every week, I have you, no consistency in my you, life. You should just my do life. van life. That's what you should do. I would they have probably to. learn more with you moving from different places than you staying in one place. They're going to yeah, be maybe. cultured. AM. Yeah, that would be very That's going to matter in adult life. They're going to be agree. real cultured. They're going to be- No social you know, skills, though. I'll be, I'll be, Bad culture. Adjusted. They'll be adjusted. You're right. All right, you yeah, guys got me. I obviously, honestly, my answer was not going to be in Chester my whole life, but like, I just wanted to push back. Because like, just that, that, that's really my only negative about that. Also, there's no consistency in life. Your consistency is so <laughs> okay. inconsistent. Consistency is moving every week. Is being so, so inconsistent. Is moving every week. It's consistent. That's one yeah, thing. Yeah, but good. you know, you know that every week you're going to have to move. Yeah. You can make it a game. You, you I don't know. Yeah, you have can. A you guys got me. And got you're me. like, <laughs> you you're like listen, it. we're going to Antarctica. So. <laughs> Antarctica? <laughs> yes. That's where it if landed, I'm, baby. Bro, I'm going everywhere. You, there's so many places. I got every week of my life I'm moving. I'm going everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Everywhere. I mean, you will you will also have three little offspring, so I don't know. Yeah, facts. I mean, honestly, learn. if I lived that life, I probably wouldn't. Like, I would still be a father. I'd probably just have one kid. Yeah. Easier to pack easier up. Easier that way. Box yeah, there. a lot easier. Just a family of three. Did you just say Rather pack up family. one in a box? <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. One of the kids? <laughs> <laughs> I'm down if you're down. Like I won't tell anyone. If <laughs> that's the easiest for you. <laughs> that's funny. All right, yeah, you guys got it. I mean, I was gonna pick that anyway, but you guys definitely persuaded me. My pushbacks didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine, Michael. That's fine. All right, let's get into these cards. Let's get into. We've been agreeing a lot on these would you rather's. We gotta get into these cards. All right. Already. Yes. What would you say is the biggest lesson you are learning these days? would like to start patient oh that was my freaking answer i swear we're just talking about that i, I swear, swear. that's literally my answer as well you can elaborate on your answer though say i'm see same wavelength i mean i kind of touched on it earlier touched on it earlier i'm just like 
I have so many ideas and I want them all to be executed now, now, now. I want everything now. I want to be rich now. I want to do this now. I want to travel now. Oh, look, there's a place in Greece I want to go to. Well, I want to go now. Like, yeah. and it's just not, yeah. it is not feasible. And I just need to learn to be like, enjoy the growth and enjoy the ride. Exactly. Because exactly. Yeah. that's what's going to get you to the thing that you want. And that's hard for me in the moment. I'm like, ugh, why? I deserve everything that I want right now. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I yeah. definitely agree. I agree. I Especially like with the podcast, I'm like, yo, we want to do this. We want to do this. I want to do this. It's just like, you know, like I want it now. Like I get it. And like you said, like enjoy the process. Enjoy each episode. Enjoy mm-hmm. the new things we're trying. Like enjoy that process. But like that is a lesson I'm getting taught. It's for sure. It's just be patient. Especially yeah. like I own the house yeah. too. And I have projects on the house. It's like, bro. I want to do this. I want to do this. It's like, just be patient. <laughs> it's going to yep. get done. Brick just be patient by brick. by brick by brick. But it's just like, sometimes like my mind, I'm like, I can put four bricks at a time. <laughs> Fucking one brick. <laughs> I'll put five down. Like I'll be high. Yeah. Okay. But that patience is I'm 100%. 100%. Mm-hmm. I, I'm learning. I mean, it's what just something that's like still in my mind. Yeah. What's you looking like, Simone? Oh, no. I think patience was a big thing for me, but, um, especially when I ruptured my Achilles because I was like, oh my God, this is going to be like a whole big process. Like, and you know, asking for help was a big thing, but I think, I don't know, right now, I don't know. I think I'm really just working on my, like, like my self-confidence and just like actually knowing that any, what I create, that's something that I need to be able to stand behind and being my biggest fan in that way, because it's just been like challenging to do so. So, I mean, also it comes with like, communicating with others and knowing that my opinions and the things that I like need for myself because chronically I'm just like a people pleaser so I overcompensate for a lot of people a lot of the times and I always want people to be straight but I never check in with myself so like me kind of like returning to home base and communicating when I don't want to do things or just being better about those things like um but standing my ground more so not so making it like an excuse so word Mm mm-hmm yeah. Love that. <laughs> That's a tough one. It is, hard. It is tough. It is very tough. I feel like, like I feel like I feel like self confidence in general can be like self confidence in general can be a tricky one for like so a lot tricky. of different reasons. Because self confidence is not is not just like, oh, I think I'm hot. I think I'm this. Like it's much more than that. It's hundred like, percent. It's like trusting your instincts and like saying exactly what you need, when you need it, what you don't need, what you don't like. It's like, it's just so much more that people don't really and talk not, about or think about. And like that, and like not seeking validation from others of that, like the, mm-hmm. one thing, the right thing, like, you know, and like you say with um, your, there's nobody looking over your shoulder. There's nobody telling you where to go next. So it's just like making the move and sticking with the fact that this is my decision. And, you know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But either way, like I need to be okay with the fact that, you know, this is me making it and not anybody else felt I went through that really really hard um I guess sometime last year um still kind of am but not so much I've always been like pretty sure of myself but with the whole business thing it was kind of like how do I know this is the right thing to do and like I'm leaving stability for some instability but there could be stability in the future it was just like a lot of the same thing that you just said so I kind of went through like a little growing team era not that I'm fully out of it because I don't think we ever fully are but it, it took it took a minute yeah for sure yeah Word. I'm gonna enjoy these growing pains I don't call them growing pains for nothing so facts and yeah, no, we That's talked true, about girl. that a while I'm about too. to I'm about to get stretch marks from these growing pains that I'm having <laughs> I feel you dog I feel you but there's good things on the other side so it's, oh, big time. it's always just keep yeah. going just keep going I love it. Yeah. Are you ready for the next card? Let's get the next card going. Yep. What's a personality trait you wish you had more of and why? Very similar, but not. Personality trait. I don't know. I'm perfect. But I wish I had more. (laughs) (laughs) I guess humbleness. That would be the only way I wish I had more. No, uh. I don't know. That's a hard one. It is. 
I need to think. Oh, personality. Okay, loyal, smart. For a second. I was just like looking up like personality traits. Personality work. traits. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, are some personality traits out there? Well, I just looked up like Sagittarius uh, personality traits. <laughs> and it's like loyal, smart, assertive, compassionate. So burn. I wish I was more um, kind or. I think I have one, I think. Yeah, hey, what's up? I um i don't know if it's a personality trait i don't know how to explain it but basically i can be very uh blunt i can be very much like if i'm gonna say something if i think something i'm saying it and i simply don't give a fuck what that's not true i give a fuck what the repercussions are but i'm a very firm believer in like if i feel something then i need to say it and as much as I think it's important to be true to yourself, I feel like I also need to learn to shut the fuck up sometimes. Because <laughs> sometimes it's kind of just like, I'm, I'm not doing it to be like mean or anything. And I don't think I deliver things in a rude way, but I think sometimes it's just better for you to like, listen and be like, okay, what I'm about to say, is it the truth? Yes. Does it need to be said right now? No, probably not. Maybe it can be said at another time. So I think I'm just a very firm believer in like, always speaking my truth and always speaking the truth without realizing that like there's a time and place word i feel that yeah, i definitely <laughs> feel that oh, i definitely feel that for I mean, sure you say the like, i relate to you and the whole like delivery i don't know if that what trait that is but i wish i had more of that yeah uh, yeah i just want to make sure the camera's back you're frozen yeah no. Who's frozen? Everybody frozen? You're good. We're back. Okay. Are you back? <laughs> now? You back? Um, shit. No, I feel you on that. Yeah. The um, Because, like, I believe in the same, just like, you're like, I need to say what I need to say. But, like, I've been tone policed. And, like, I don't know how to deliver with compassion a lot of the time, the things that I need to say or the things that I feel. But it doesn't change the fact that they're true. Um, so, I don't know. Like Exactly. I, just, like. <laughs> And that's a bad thing, too, because I've just, like, kind of stopped saying things in my adult life mm -hmm. because I need to be able to, like, not be, a, like, a blunt person about it, right? Yeah. It's just, like, yeah. how do you how do you deliver, like, this information in a nice, in a way that's not, I mean, either way, you can't anticipate how someone is going to react to what you say, but how, right. do, you, how do you minimize that in the best way possible by still speaking your truth and, like, it being received? Yeah. I feel you. No, I yeah. feel that. Simone, you know it's me hard. too, because in high school, I was so blunt and like, I would say, I would do the same thing. I would say everything. And like, now it's just like, all right, I have to kind of relax. And, you know, I still, like you said, I want to say what I say. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to not, I'm not going to hold back, but at the same time, there's a time and a place. Like that, you know, yeah. time and a place for everything. So I'm learning. I'm, I'm really learning. Oh, it like sure. goes against, it goes against everything within me. Cause like everything in me is like, say what you need to say. And whoever likes it, like whoever doesn't love it. And I don't, I don't, I mean, in my head, it says that I don't carry myself that way, but like the yeah. voice in my head is like, fuck that, say whatever you 100%. want. Yeah. And I never listen to it because you, you can't just be saying shit like <laughs> whenever you want. Like, you, I mean, I guess you could, but there's always going to be repercussions for it. So I just, I wish I had more, like, I don't even know, more chill, I guess. <laughs> 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 Fucking, I need to relax sometimes. I guess, yeah. Word. I, I think for me, my answer would be more like understanding. Like I wish, like I try when I argue with someone, when I talk to someone to like understand their side, but it is so hard for me sometimes because when I know when I'm right, or even if I think I'm right, I'm like, sorry, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't understand you. Like I, don't, like I try, I'll try to understand you, but like that's something I wish like I did more of like actually like really understanding someone rather than kind of like putting that wall up first and then trying to understand. Because like yeah. I do that so much. Yeah. I feel that though, like you just, we get in our way about things. It's like, no, I know about this. So what are you? Yeah. What are you like, talking what are you about? Saying? Yeah. Like, you know, and it's hard, like you go into the conversation already, like, oh, hundred percent. The wall is already there in the conversation. I'm like, I got to drop that wall. I have to, cause I don't get anywhere. 
it comes with you know no, just know. continuing to have those conversations with people you know but i mean yeah. truly being open is just like fucking hard because people I know, do I crazy know. fucking things you know what i, I mean yeah, especially when you're hard. passionate about your side like if you're passionate about your side it's hard to be like oh no like right. let me listen to oh your my side God. you're fighting experiences I'm, you know exactly. Like, exactly i'm so guilty of that i'm so guilty of being like i mean i think i'm a very naturally passionate person so when i which is i guess kind of why i became a writer because i have to <laughs> one you have to be passionate about it but two you're writing about things and you need to like use your words to convince people so you have to kind of be like passionate i guess but i get very passionate in my convictions and what i think and sometimes i'm like you are coming off a little abrasive you need to tone it down <laughs> like, i know that you think that you know everything but you don't yeah and you gotta chill please <laughs> just relax <laughs> no nah, seriously and like like even if like i know i'm right it's the way i deliver it as well like you know because like i can be 100 percent right but if i'm coming off as like yeah. a know-it-all or whatever who every sure. person i'm talking to is different how they recept what i'm saying so like so you know like understand yeah trying to understand people <laughs> And how they yeah. recept to different information. They do, because people will literally shut off just by the way that you're saying. Oh, 100%. I could say uh, everything everything right. And like like just because I said it this way, it's like, no, that's wrong now. You know, yeah. And you want to be received. Oh, my God. Just tailoring the message again. Like, how are you going to compassionately deliver this truth and fight all of the programming that you've been dealing with for the past however long? Mm -hmm. The way that you deliver the message. Yeah. Crazy. <sighs> yeah. Like, Life, in life. <laughs> 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 yeah, this has been a dope app. I'm hyped that we did it, even though yeah. it should have been in person, but it, it's cool. Virtual shit. It is what it is. You know what? If it I'm ever, um, if I'm ever, you know, back home again, having to be home on the weekend, I will hit you up. Yeah, we'll make it work. Let's we'll get it going. We can make it we'll put Nick on. We'll get Nick. We get it all. Oh, we'll get let's the squad. get the crew. Yeah, we'll get the squad. We'll be led. <laughs> We're about to be squatted. Facts. <laughs> I love it. All right, so, yeah. I mean, we can conclude. We, we conclude every episode by saying our goal for the week. So by next Sunday, what's something that you want to accomplish? It can be, like, small. It can be, like, little. It don't matter. Or big. It don't matter. Just by next something, something you can accomplish and you want to accomplish. Um, My goal is I've got a giant project I'm working on but i procrastinated my goal is to have that shit done like beginning to end and done well that's my goal Word. love shit. it so you're gonna get it done too yeah i, I know I, I have to there's no other choice <laughs> love it what about you yeah. Simone, what was your goal last week so we were talking about auditing my time because i feel all scattered and, shit like that. and so i did and now i'm just going to just from today to next sunday implement the routine that i had in place so okay so that w so what's your goal for next week like implement my routine? routine from when i looked through my time last week just go through my routine daily okay so all right solid no routines are hard no i get it, <laughs> it oh, I, I get exactly what you're saying and especially like because you know i'm just moving back and forth and doing yeah shit, you're so yeah you're like, all over so it's good for that find routine no matter where i'm at and that's where i'm trying that's what i'm doing now love it yeah love it uh, Billy, me, what about my, yours my goal last week was to hopefully have this date for a wedding but we do not have that yet we we did get steps closer i mean we are we were taking steps like we saw more venues and kind of thing i mean we have right. like you know the the time zone in frame but like the date date we don't have that yet we kind of have like we kind of know but we don't know exactly so my i didn't i didn't do my goal i'm sorry yeah <laughs> also my goal for like two weeks ago was to play basketball and i've been playing a lot of basketball so i'm really fulfilling that goal i played oh, basketball good. today actually that's why i'm here this is why i'm actually in this room because i played basketball nice so i've been you do I've look real that sporty goal. today yeah, I literally I, I, take that, a right? shower. <laughs> I literally came back. I was going to take a shower. That's why I said I told you guys like 530 because I'm like, all right, I got to keep yeah. playing. I was balling. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was winning. My team was winning. I'm like, I got a ball. But so I was like, damn, I'm going to take a shower after this. <laughs> I didn't even take a shower yet. Um, I, I think my goal for next Sunday. Hmm. I haven't even thought about that. I mean, I, I'm sure. probably going to have a long week at work. So maybe keep my mental strong. Just, you know, 
I need a better goal. Thing. You know what? I need a better goal. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you do. Hold on, hold on, I need a damn minute. I felt like the routine was a good goal. Yeah, like, my goal was hard. fine. Fuck you, Mike. I need a better goal from you. <laughs> it's hard to be in the same routine to get up every day and be like, okay, I'm going to do this and this and this and stick to it every day. That shit's hard. Facts. No, no one can facts. say that it's not. It is facts. Ah, that's hard. I really don't have like a... Okay, a goal would be getting at least something with these merch. I want to do something with the merch for this for the podcast. Dude, did we pick? Hundred percent by next Sunday. Did we pick? What? We picked right. Well, we picked, it's but fun. there was still like kind of. I mean, we have basically like what we want, but the small details of like what to put on the front and the size and where. Uh, what? That's my goal. To at least like not even have uh, uh, like the the product in hand because that's not gonna happen. But like to have that step of like all right. We're gonna we're have the product. design and then we can ship it out and do something. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. So that's my goal. My goal is to make that official step in the merch. I guess that's also what like. kind of merch do you guys want to make? Like shirts? Oh yeah, just to start, we want to do like t-shirts and then stuff, and then like you know, down the road do like you know, hoodies and long sleeves and shit. But just to start, you know, t-shirts, start small and then go brick by brick shit. Got you. Word. Brick by brick is very much the the motto. Yeah, facts. It has to be. I mean, like I said, I'm trying yeah. to do. I'm trying to do everything at once. I'm gonna go there and be like, "Yo, let me get some hoodies. Let me get some shorts." Let me get... right. But Same. I can't do that. I have a logo on all that shit, yo. <laughs> Word. But that's that. That would be my goal. That's that's and that's doable. We can do that because we we basically have it done. But we have to make that official step. Nice. We have that's the place. Cool. We have all that. So word. Good shit. Right. I love it. I love this episode. It's been dope. If you want to, yeah. yo, if you want to plug anything, let us know. Plug your socials, plug your your brand, plug whatever you need to plug. All right, um, you can go to my website, um, www.thegrimescreative.com. Um, I'm also on Upwork. So if you're trying to hire me, you know, get on Upwork. <laughs> Alicia Grimes, hit me up. <laughs> um, and then my Instagram is just Alicia Grimes. A L I C I A G R I M E S. And yeah, that's that on that. <laughs> Love it. Appreciate everyone tapping in. Appreciate you coming on the pod. Thank you. Virtual, virtual world, baby. And then when you come back <laughs> and you're in the area, we'll get the squad, we'll get Seabrook, we'll get them all, and we'll be lit. I'm down. Thank That's you for having me. Thank you. All right, fam. It's been real. One love is real. One love.